Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today we're going to have a play with some Doodlebug stamps. This sentiment stamp set is called All Occasions. So there's lots of fun little um, sentiments and you did it and welcome and congrats. And you could do welcome to the family, welcome little one. And they're cool little fonts. So I really liked it and I couldn't go past it. So we're going to use our Misty and stamp out um, our welcome word in Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to stamp this twice because it's a brand new stamp. And we're just going to season it up a little bit. So I've already played with the position and everything else, which is what you didn't see, obviously. And I'm stamping this on some Express It blending card. And we're going to use this a um, Art Impressions stamp called Hoots. It is an older one that I got from a friend. And I did have a look and see that some are actually still available, but now they have some sentiments to it. So I'm just playing with his feet now, just making sure the feet were sort of pretty close to the welcome. So they sort of grounded my little dudes. But you'll see that I'll end up putting a little a ground in for them which is a whole other story so this card okay in Australia we have a saying that's called brain fart okay it's that moment where your brain stops working oh we'll come back to that so we've got BV 29 BG 79 BG 75 72 and 10 and we're going to color these. We're going to have the highlights going to be in the center of their little heads. Um, because they're round. They're not flat. And we're going to work with our darkest color because there's only a small area. Work our, out to from our darkest color down to our lightest. And then we'll add a little bit more touch. Some of them I'll go back in with all of them. Some of them I'll just do a little bit of a touch up. So brain farts, you know that moment when your brain just sort of stops thinking, just stops, like it's still working obviously, but you know when your brain sort of goes, um, oh yeah, off we go. So that is what we call a brain fart. So I hope no one's offended by that, but that's what we call it here in Australia. So we will come back to that a little bit later on when my moment happens. Um, but I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. You'll see. But we fix it, so it's all good. So we're working through their little pom-poms and their little bits that cover their... Owls, owls have ears. That's called a brain fart, people. Um, G85, G82, and G40. You know that moment when you just can't think, you can't think of that word. You can't think of things that you would know at any other point in time. But at that moment, you can't think of them. So, as I said, all the coloring is the same thing. So they're little, because it's all got, they, they got hats. So I'm just sort of thinking about where the hat, the head is directed. So you've got some that are looking left or right. You've got the little dude in the middle and sort of the little dude at the end that are looking pretty much flat on, straight on. And this little guy has, we're sort of doing like he's got, his, well he's got his eyes closed, but I'm sort of doing like he's got his head down because his little pom-pom, you can see more of it. So we're just going by the way it's being drawn um, and going through and just thinking like the center of that pom-pom has got those two little lines so that's where we're going to put our darkest and we're going to add some little bit more and you just look at the stamp and just see how the stamp is drawn see if they put some lines in there to guide you see you go okay his head's looking down the last little dude, B99, B, 
97, 95 and 93. This is where I'm going to map some of my light, my shadows. And this is what I normally do, but sometimes I just don't because it's a small area and sometimes I just don't. So he's going to have his highlight pretty much smack bang in the middle of his little noggin. His little head. You can see that his pom pom is a little bit back. So it sort of suggests that his head's up rather than the far left little guy. Who's, his pom pom is closer. You can see more of it. So it indicates his little head is down. So... The next thing I'm going to do is put some, go in with my browns and we're going to, there's only small parts of it, but we're just going to give you that suggestion that like their wings and their feet and, and that sort of thing of having this brown around them. Here he is, there he is, very cute. So the browns that we're going to use are E49, 47 and 44. Now some of my chows, I'm going to talk about my chows actually. You could see some of them had little um, labels of what they are. Most of mine do. There's a couple that have either gotten wet and disintegrated, not many. A couple that I've gotten new from someone else who's no longer using theirs. They don't have it. But basically what I've done is I've printed out a chart. Um, just a normal chart that goes. They're just in a, in a grid sort of fashion. They're not like the Sandy Allnock hex chart. Or they're just in numerical order. And then I've printed that out on blending card. And then every second number I've punched out with a hole punch. And then used a glue dot to pop it on top of my um, my little chow marker so most of them have the color on there purely because I did color it in on the chart before I did anything else and so you need two of them because you can't punch the one either side than the, the one that you've just done so it was I mean, it's really, really quick and easy because you're just punching it out, you know, and gluing it on. It does take a little bit of time, but the fact that I can look at my pens in my containers and just pick out the color that I want just makes it so much easier. So we're going to jump ahead for our little other five, three little owls. And this is where my brain just sort of stopped working for a minute for a little while so I'm happily coloring around and putting in my playing with sort of ice sort of watery type of ice thing does that mention does that sort of ring any alarm bells with you at all because you know why am I putting them on ice or water or something I honestly don't know because these are owls these are not penguins these are owls but for some gosh knows what reason that's what I was gonna do so we're busily coloring away and we're going to play with the colors and we're just going to see what happens because I thought it'd be really cool to have the welcome stand out nice and bright with the ice in between it oh dear this is not ice i've had a few of these moments lately where the car just has gone a bit weird this is where i'm thinking um you're an idiot nat so off camera i've played with the colors a bit and come up with this um e i've added a couple more colors in later on i've got e79 77 74 71 and 70 so these are the colors i tried some other colors first off and i thought nah you just can't you it's not going so well so i thought i would try and put these little dudes on a 
branch. So hence the squiggles. You can actually see their feet a lot better in real life on the card. It's not as dark, like you can't see the definition of their feet on, on this one, but it's not as dark in my no, in photos. So after a little while, I'm going to give up on my twig, on my branch. I won't call it a twig because it's nowhere near the size of a twig. And we're just going to color this as a ground. And with the lighter color, it blends it in because I just worried that this was going to be too much. The squiggles and everything for the knots in the branch were just going to be too much. See, at the moment, it looks like a hot mess, which all coloring basically has a moment where it just looks like a hot mess. So this is pretty much where I decided it was not going to happen. It was going to end up being a ground and we end up using the lighter color to blend the colors in a little bit more so you can see the the color the the welcome the word welcome so this stamp could you know this card could be welcome to little ones it could be welcome to the neighborhood um uh, honestly, it could probably be a well, you're welcome sort of thing. Um, but if someone thinks you and then you're well welcome. Anyway, I digress. It's getting late. It's nearly 10 o'clock, which is past my bedtime because I work today. So this is what we're going to work with. So I'm trying to think about where I'm going to be, where I'm going to, whether it how big my panel is going to be at the end of the card. So we're going to go in with some W's of W5, 3 and 1 just to give a little bit of definition but I'm not colouring the whole thing because I want the give a bit of an impression of white and what I'll do at the end because they're only very small I'll actually go in with an O and sort of blend out that lighten up that color remove some of that color and we're going to go through and do this with all the little dudes so again I've got more of the darker color on the sides and of course between his eyeballs because we're going to have his little cap that would provide a little bit of shade and then once we've gone through all the colors, we're going to go through and do the O just to soften those colors a little bit. And that's pretty much the coloring sort of all done. The card is pretty relatively simple. I do change my mind a little bit here. We're going to use the paper roll, paper rose um, nesting rectangles so this is the Australian sort of size for our cards and this panel I think it basically comes to 9.7 by 14.1 roughly so I've got a little bit of background in between it so there's my little dude so I'm just going to blend that in with the E70 again a little bit more down the bottom I don't mind if it's a little bit streaky because it's ground, it's got the texture going through it. So here's where I'm trying to play around with the cardstock. And I end up getting out this blue green card from my stash and I've cut it to 14.4 uh, by 10 centimeters. And I'm just making sure that's all straight. So he's a pretty simple. I make relatively clean and simple cards. Um, with the focus being the colouring, basically. So apart from some Winker Stella, that is pretty much the end of our card. I'm just going to use the Winker Stella just to bring a bit of sparkle. And it's just a brush marker. And you just paint it on and that's it. You let it dry and it just leaves a pretty little sparkle which hopefully you'll be able to see when we I'll, I'll tilt it a little bit 
So like and subscribe and make sure you click the little button down below so you know you get notified whenever I post a video and hop over to the blog for all the details and all the um, Copics will be all laid laid out and sort of listed on there for your reference easy reference easy reference I could if I could talk that'd be really great so thanks very much for stopping by I do hope you like it I do hope you've learned something